What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range again to do a bunch of jelly testing today and the first test of the day is one I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the results from. As you can see by the title, we're testing out the new kid on the block, namely the Federal Punch 22 Magnum. Y'all know if y'all watch my channel for any length of time, I'm a huge fan of the Punch in 22 LR. I think it's by far the best 22 LR defensive round period. Nothing even comes close in my opinion, so I'm really looking forward to see what this Magnum does. So what we got going today obviously we got the jelly contraption ready for business we got the chrono got two freshly melted blocks of gel here not a single track in any of them so this is the very first test so we can get a really good picture of what's happening here and then of course we got the star of the show here the federal punch 22 magnum personal defense rounds now these are 45 grain jacketed hollow points uh these are formulated just like the punch lr to be run out of a two inch barrel now you can run them out of anything of course but they're supposed to be really good out of short barrel so this velocity they're claiming is a thousand feet per second and that's out of a two inch barrel so as you can see the round here nice nickel plated just like the punch lr uh now the big difference obviously besides it being 22 magnum is this is a hollow point where the punch 22 lr was a solid projectile with a flat nose on it so should be really interesting to see what's going on here now if i'm being honest with you i think these are going to do really good but i don't think they're going to stand out from the crowd nearly as much as that punch 22 lr does uh the the 22 LR version, it's uh, it's nearly one of the only 22 LRs on the market that's kind of promoted as a self-defense round, and it does phenomenal versus everything I've tested against. It's just not even close. It's in a league of its own. Whereas this Magnum, I feel like it's going to be really similar in performance to something like the Critical Defense or the uh, Spear Gold Dots that we've tested. So, like I said, I think it's going to do good. I just don't think it's going to be a, a huge standout like the LR, but I could be proven wrong. But as for the tools we working with here we're doing the walther wmp with a four and a half inch barrel and then we're going to try out the bar keep again with the two and five eight inch barrel so this is more along the lines of, of what they designed this for a really small concealed carry really short barrel so should be pretty good performance out of this but this wmp really ought to crank it up a notch but like i said i'm very curious to see what kind of performance we get out of these things today so let me get everything set up and let's get at it all right, y'all, you know the routine out here. I'm gonna get some speeds out of both of these barrel links first. I'm gonna start out with the Heritage with the two and five eighths inch barrel. I'm gonna do three rounds out of each one of them. Twelve oh six. Eleven fifty six. And eleven seventy five, so pretty good speeds for a short barrel little revolver. Let's go down there and check the average out. All right, so the three round average out of the Heritage Bar Keep is eleven hundred seventy nine feet per second. So it's already exceeded that thousand feet per second they're claiming on the box. Let me get everything reset and let's check out that WMP. All right, y'all, here we go with the big boy, the four and a half inch barrel Walther WMP. I'm expecting right much more out of this. I would say 1300 plus feet per second should be easily doable. So let's do us a three round average. 1338, 1350, and 1366. So definitely ramped it on up. Let's check that average out. All right, so the three round average out of the WMP with the four and a half inch barrel was 1,351 feet per second. And if y'all remember out the bar keep, it was 1179. So you talking about 172 feet per second difference, 172 feet per second faster out of this Walther. That's definitely a significant speed difference. So we ought to see some good difference in the gel. Let me get everything set up and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, let's knock them out jelly time. I'm gonna put one round into the gel from each barrel length we're gonna start out with the bar keep first let's see what this punch can do y'all all right nice clean hit down there let's go down there and check it out and see what we got All right, y'all, we're looking good down there. From what I'm seeing already, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. It looks like so far it has performed just like, say, the Critical Defense or the Gold Dots out of the Magnum that we've tested. Uh, like I mentioned, I think I don't think this is going to be quite the standout as the LR was, but let's see what this WMP does for it, y'all. Twelve oh six. 
All right, I believe we put that one right up on the other one. That should be perfect comparison right there. Let's go down there and check it out and see what we got. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. I've got y'all on the other side of the block since they're closer to this side so you can see everything a little bit better. So what we got is on the top, that was the one out of the bar keep. On the bottom was the one out of the Walther. As you can see on both of them, great disruption, wound channel action going on there. Um, something I didn't expect to see is this fragmenting, especially from the Walther. You got a lot of fragmenting going on, and even in the bar keep, there's chunks of lead throughout the wound channel. Um, I really didn't expect that, but that does make sense because if you're going to get this thing to expand as a hollow point, you would want a pretty soft lead compound. And I got a feeling they have, they have used a really soft lead compound to get these things to expand out of a two inch barrel. But anyway, like I said, really nice wound channel on both of them. You got the fragmentation. Now, some people like that. Some people don't. Some people would prefer that it retained all its weight. Some people like the extra wound action of the fragments. So, uh, myself, either way, it really doesn't matter matter to me as long as you get enough penetration um, and right here you're you're on the edge of it because as you can see they came through here they stopped almost exactly the same place the the uh, one out of the bar keep is back a little bit but it, the forward momentum is right here with the one out of the walther so nearly identical penetration uh, and as far as what i can see so far they started to tumble the one out of the bar keep definitely tumbled more the one out of the walther looks like it was trying to curve upwards like this uh but really nice expansion out of them like i say they came all apart but they definitely mushroomed out so first off let's get the penetration measurement and see what we're looking at all right so on the penetration the bar keep is exactly 13 inches the walther is right at 13 and a quarter so you got 13 inches and 13 and a quarter like i say they're almost identical as far as the penetration within a quarter of an inch of each other all right i got these projectiles pulled so we can take a look at these so on the left here this is the one out of the bar keep on the right the one out of the walter so as you can see the walter definitely peeled back further you can see there the, as far as the base of the bullet there definitely more expansion but the, as far as the size it's going to be about the same this one just peeled back more and lost more of its material it looks like but you got some nice little jaggies hanging off of there so this one's going to be a pretty big measurement if i take into account that so um like i say i'm really surprised that they came apart like this but again it does make sense i got a feeling this is a really soft lead compound so um let me do some measurement on them here and let's see what the weights and all are so we started out at 45 grains. The one out of the bar keep is 44.2. So lost a little bit there. The one out of the Walter is definitely going to be a little lighter. Oh yeah, a lot lighter. That's 36.4 out of the Walther, 36.4. So it lost quite a bit of material and you can see that in the gel. Now, as far as the measurements here, we'll start with the bar keep, 297, 321. And if we count this big old shard hanging off here, 445. So that's a bunch of mangled up expansion for sure out of that bar keep. Now the one from the Walther got 275, 331. And then if we count its big old mangled piece, 379 so uh decent expansion on that one too like i say just a lot of just inconsistent expansion just because the mangled up and the little shards and all hanging off of it but i'm not really sure how i feel about these y'all um they're not bad rounds by any means they performed well they didn't get a whole lot of uh, penetration so with clothing uh i don't know what this would look like with that we may have to do a clothing test with these punch magnets for sure but as far as them standing out from the crowd uh i'm not really that impressed honestly they got pretty much the same performance like the critical defense like the spear gold dots that are made for the shorter barrels like i said i kind of expected this because uh you know you got a couple other rounds that i just mentioned that are really made for shorter barrels for a magnum whereas the 22 lr the punch was pretty much the only one i mean your winchester silver tips claim that they are but i've tested those and they just don't perform out of a short barrel so the punch lr really is a standout in the crowd of 22 lr whereas this magnum is just you know it's another good round and that's about all you can say for it so uh, now as far as which one i would use obviously if i was carrying it would be the bar keep because you, you still got really good performance
performance out of these. Now the foot, the energy is definitely bigger on the Walther, but you know, it's a, it's a large gun. So you're probably not going to be carrying that. But, um, again, I think performance wise, these did well, just in my opinion, nothing that stands out from the crowd of other short barrel 22 Magnum rounds. All right, y'all, that does it for my very first test of the Federal Punch 22 Magnum. And I'm just gonna be honest with you, I'm really not that impressed. Like I said, it wasn't a bad performance by any means. They actually performed well. They just didn't stand out from the crowd of the other 22 Magnums I've tested that are designed as defensive rounds for shorter barrels like the Critical Defense and the Spear Gold Dots. They did have some good expansion. They had some fragmentation. If that's something you look for in a defensive round, penetration was, you know, 13 inches, 13 and a quarter. So it's within the FBI standards, but through clothing or, or barrier, maybe if you had to go through a barrier, would that be adequate? I don't know. I'd like to personally see a little bit more penetration. Y'all know how I am about that. Another consideration also is the cost of these things. These things were 26 bucks a box, 26 bucks a box. Whereas those critical defense, I paid 14 $14.99 for. I paid 15 bucks for those basically. The Spear Gold Dots were 18, I think, and they both of those performed just as good as these Punch 22 Magnums. I really wanted to see these Punch Magnums walk away from the rest of the 22 Magnum crowd like its counterpart, the 22 LR, did, but uh, again, it just didn't do it. I'm definitely going to be doing some more testing with these though, and I'll probably put them up against those other two rounds that I mentioned side by side, even though I've already tested those other ones. Uh, I'm also the next test that y'all see from this. I'm getting ready to do right now is going to be these magnums versus the 22 lr punch and we're going to see what kind of difference in performance we're looking at and which one we might prefer out of that but y'all leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about the performance of these punch 22 magnums uh do you think it was good do you think it was so so do you think you saw anything out of these that just overly impressed you compared to the other two rounds i mentioned let me know down in the comments what y'all thoughts are if you did enjoy the video reach down and hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss these good videos i've got coming up check out all my affiliate links down below in the video description you know the deal with the amazon as always if you do shop through there hit that link up first you go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy on the site after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel again if any of y'all out there hadn't checked out those actual affiliate links down below check those things out you can get some really fantastic ear pro and save a lot of money going through those links instead of straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range gang members for reaching out and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all that supports the channel by watching the videos hitting that thumbs up hitting that subscribe button and leaving me those comments down below again let me know what you think about the punch 22 magnum like i said i'm getting ready to test these against the 22 lr right now and i've got a few more things planned for out here today too so make sure y'all stay tuned for all that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon